Happy Resurrection Day to all our subscribers and to all our viewers and also those who are watching this video. The resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. I really wish you happy resurrection day of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ has died on the cross and as he promised that he would rise again, so he rose on the third day. So by raising on the third day, he fulfilled what he has promised and also the Lord Jesus Christ is not the dead God. Jesus Christ is the living God. So today I want to share the evidential verses and the witnesses of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Because the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the doctrine, is the belief what we have in the Bible. It has been attacked and it has so many counterfeits from so many heretical groups and even from the worldly other religions also. So as being a Christians, let us be very clear about the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, whether there was a resurrection of Jesus Christ or not. Firstly, the angel told that Jesus Christ is resurrected. That we clearly see in the Gospel of Mark chapter 16 verse 6. Let us read it together. And he said to them, Do not be amazed. You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene, who has been crucified. He has risen. He is not here. Behold, here is the place where they laid him. Here, angel became the witness of the Lord Jesus Christ, told to the woman that Jesus Christ is not there. Jesus Christ's body is not lying there as a dead body because the Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. So angel has witnessed the resurrection of Jesus Christ that we also see in Gospel of Luke chapter 24 verse 6 to 7 and also we see in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 28 verse 5 to 6. Secondly, let us see Mary witnessed and spoke with the resurrected Jesus that we clearly see in the Gospel of John chapter 20 verse 16 to 18. We have very clearly that Mary witnessed and spoke with the resurrected Jesus and even Jesus Christ is speaking with her. And thirdly, the disciples rejoiced and witnessed the Lord Jesus Christ. So after appearing the Mary, Jesus appeared to the disciples. The disciples were in the room and the door was shut. But Jesus, being in the resurrected body, he came uh, inside the room even when there was the door was shut. And he, when he stood in the midst of the disciples, he said to them, Peace be with you. And their disciples rejoiced and they witnessed the resurrected Jesus. That we clearly see in the Gospel of John, John chapter 20 verse 19 to 23. Let us see the fourth one. Thomas witnessed and spoke with the resurrected Jesus. That we clearly see in the Gospel of John chapter 20 verse 24 to 29. When Jesus appeared to the disciples at that time, Thomas was not there. So after eight days, Jesus appeared to the Thomas and uh, Jesus told him to put his finger in the hands of Jesus Christ when the place in which he was nailed. But uh, Thomas did not do that. Thomas believed that the Lord Jesus Christ has risen from the dead and uh, Jesus Christ is the resurrected Jesus. And he worshipped him, said, My Lord, my God, that we clearly see in that gospel. Let us see the fifth one, the last one. Paul's list of people who witnessed the resurrected Jesus that we clearly see in the first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3 to 8. Let us read it together. So here Paul is giving the list of the people who witnessed the resurrected Jesus Christ. And at lastly, he said, Even I I am the witness of the risen Lord, of the resurrected Jesus Christ. So here, these are the five and these are the very clear evidential verses we have in the Bible. And the Bible is very clear about the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, that he died on the cross and was buried. And he was buried. Jesus Christ did not rise again. He just died away. He was not there even after the death. No, 
Bible is very clear that he, when he died on the cross, when he was buried on the third day, the first day of the week at the dawn, he rose from the dead. That is what we see very clearly in the Bible. So as a Christians, the people who believe in the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, let us not have any kind of doubt. Let us be very clear because the Bible is very clear. The word of God is very clear about the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. So let us stand together. Let us stand firmly. Let us stand strongly in the faith what we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. For that, let us read the very important verse that we have in the first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 14. And if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is vain. Your faith also is vain. If the Lord Jesus Christ has not been raised from the dead, the preaching what we are preaching, it is totally and completely is in vain. Means it is completely the waste of doing it. Because there was the resurrection of Jesus Christ, because Jesus Christ was resurrected, that is the reason this gospel is the truth. That is the reason that has made it the evident that the Lord Jesus Christ came to this world, died for our sins, and as he promised, on the third day he rose again. So let us not have any kind of doubts in this. Let us be very clear because the Bible is very clear about this. So at lastly, by saying these five points, I would like to tell you, all of you those who are watching this, you do not have any kind of doubts in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Be very clear, stand firm, answer those who are telling you that Jesus Christ did not rise again, answer them with the Bible, with these verses and glorify the Lord Jesus Christ by this. And lastly, also I would like to wish you happy resurrection day to all of you those are watching. May God bless you. Amen.